sponsored by War Thunder. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. This is Questionable Ethics, a brutal Left 4 Dead 2 custom map designed to make you hate your friends with a burning passion. But why would I subject myself and my friends to such torture? Well, this all started when me and my buddies beat the official campaign for the very first time. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Only about 15 years after the game's release, but there's a first time for everything. Heh. Anyways, after doing so, I was left craving a sadistic and blood body experience that I could invite my friends over to play. So I scoured the vast workshop modding community for the perfect map, while at the same time installing random mods I found interesting. So good, but for the witch! <laughs> and witnessing horrors beyond my mortal uh. comprehension. What the fuck? Looking at the Steam page of the map, the uninviting atmosphere along with the punishing design from the vast open spaces to the deep chasms seemed perfect. And the side note left by the author just simply sealed the deal. Good luck, you're going to need it. <laughs> okay. It was decided, so I called up my brain dead friends. Me, Void, Nick and Marble would be going into this blind, with a total playtime of less than 50 hours between us. Our aspirations were high, and we didn't think this would be too difficult. In reality, we had absolutely no idea what we were signing ourselves up for. We spawn in the safe room, and we're instantly met with grenade launchers and technical issues. I'm going to delete the game oh. real quick, and then just... Why are you doing Why delete the game? But before we get started, I'm gonna explain the premise of this campaign. We are Amazon employees trapped within an Amazon warehouse. And our goal is to get through five maps and endure all the challenges they have to offer to escape the facility. I'm closing this door. All the while, some unknown entity is constantly observing our every move. Alright, bet. Player guys, look! Unconnected. Look! Skibri toilet. Skibri skibri. Shut the f <laughs> This is already like the fourth Very attempt lovely. and we haven't even left the door. We Very haven't lovely. even left this Very fucking lovely. room. Lovely. With Void finally in, we geared up and began our first actual attempt. Ahead, our path was blocked by a suspicious red door. To open the door, we had to pour in fuel from this conveniently placed gas can. But of course, my friends had other ideas. Oh, right now, shoot it. I'm just gonna shoot you. Shoot it. See, I told you. Past the door, things kind of instantly went to shit. Okay, we're already fucked. Yeah, how did this happen? Maybe the grenade launchers weren't such a good idea. What do you think? Yeah, they're so bad. I should kill myself with it. I gotta heal. Give me a second. We're already wasting our medkits. Wait, there's wait, there's stuff behind these paintings. No way! Free fentanyl. <laughs> Yeah, there's adrenaline here for the one. Guys, grab the fucking adrenaline. Woohoo! Yo, nice shot. One here. There's literally adrenaline right here, Nick. Huh? It's gone. I I shoved it and it's gone. Here, well, we have okay. Let's, let's just go, okay? It's... Guys, yeah, try and not shoot each other. Heavy weapons, guy! I am heavy weapon. And you are dead! Oh. <laughs> yes. oh. There he is! Wait. Oh, that, that's what the gas cans can also be used for. Items! Alright, let's go. You guys get out. The... Guys, I've gotta, I've gotta open this door. I'm closing this door. Oh, wait, hold up. I can, I I hear... can destroy that. Damn, you can blow them off! Oh god, it's a cloaker! Where's that cloaker? He's not there think. anymore. There's he... a jerry candy here, but. but oh, I got it. it. Molotov! Molotov! Oh shit! It came out of fucking nowhere! What, what are those numbers? 1346, remember that. 1346. Okay, bet. Oh, it's Otis! Oh, God. I got a can of monster. Hey guys, I need I need medical. Uh, yeah, I need medical. We all need medical, boy. Look at my health. Us. Oh, fuck! Nick! We can't leave you unattended for three seconds. Get your ass back up this instant. Oh, this is like Squid Game. You guys are playing Squid Game. Ah, oh, that's not it. Help me up. I got you, homie. Okay, jump across. Oh shit! What's behind this door? Otis! Otis! Oh fuck! Oh, this is oh. not good. This is oh. not good. Oh, oh, god. God. oh, oh no. no! Let me get you guys up. Come on, hold on, hold on. Cover me. I'll get you guys up. Shit, Nick's completely dead. Oh, Kroger. Kroger. I hear him. <laughs> I know no, it's right here! Uh -oh. oh my god, they 
drop. They can drop from the ceiling. There's a hole in the ceiling. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Uh, behind you! Behind you, boy! <laughs> Fuck! You are kidding me. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, uh, we barely even made it halfway. Maybe we would have gotten farther if. Maybe they would have gotten farther if they had played the sponsor of today's video, War Thunder. I have invested an unhealthy amount of hours into this game. So trust me when I say that this is the most realistic and comprehensive view to combat game ever made. Go along and immerse yourself in the intense bot clenching action packed combat this game has to offer, as you take control of over 2,500 vehicles from 10 major nations ranging from the 1920s all the way to the modern era. On land, in the air, and the sea? Yeah, that too. The choice is yours. Blow up the bridge. Obliterate the French. Destroy the Italians. You know what? The Italians get to live. Speaking of destruction, every single tank, plane, helicopter and... ship? Yeah, that's a ship, alright. Has accurately modeled armor and individual modules that behave like their real world counterparts. You shoot a tank here, its engine dies. You shoot a tank here, its gunner gets absolutely vaporized. You shoot a tank in the ammo rack. All of this for the truly amazing price of zero dollars. Available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Hell, a kitchen blender might be enough, thanks to the game's incredible optimization, which still manages to retain its beautiful core aesthetic. So come on and join the vast community of over 70 million players. Even if you have completely lost your mind, or have a questionable desire to leak classified military documents. Better yet, if you register as a new or returning player after at least 6 months of inactivity, by using the link in the description or pinned comment below, you'll be able to claim a limited time offer, containing premium vehicles, silver alliance, and 7 days of premium account time entirely for free. Trust me, little Timmy, when playing this game, you'll feel like you're actually there. Thank you to War Thunder, and I'll see you on the battlegrounds. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, we would have gotten farther if he hadn't kept nuking each other. However, we were now familiar with the three core features this map revolves around. Gas cans, vending machines, and grenade launchers. As you've probably already noticed, gas cans have more uses besides setting the surrounding area ablaze. They are vital for progression and can even be traded at the various vending machines placed around the map for randomized items like grenades, meds, and bigger weapons. There's also these marked vendors, which can be blown open with a grenade launcher. Their loot is considerably worse than the normal vendors, but it's free and beggars can't be choosers. The map also demands we carry at least one grenade launcher along with us, since these two are crucial for progress. Oh, I almost forgot. There's also these paintings. The white paintings provide you with medical items, the yellow ones have a 50-50% chance to spawn special infected or useful stuff, and then there's these red paintings. We don't talk about the red paintings. Armed with this knowledge, we are more confident heading into our second attempt. <laughs> I can't get over your stupid fucking microphone, bro. Yeah, don't worry about it, it's fine. What happens if I do this? No, you, you fuck fucking You're it. fucking real! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Okay, that should have been pretty obvious. Hey! Stop that! Stop! Okay, okay let's just stop! 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 Okay, this you man. Guys. What the fuck are we doing? Putting the autism aside, we started off the second attempt strong. We made it past the first room unscathed and fought off the first horde with relative ease. If a guy vomits on oh. me, it's not my fault. <laughs> Come on, look at the bright side. You got it for free. Some people would pay a lot of money for that. Huh? We redeemed the provided gas can for some grenades and carried on while grabbing supplies along the way. There's a medkit here, as well as making sure we didn't leave anything behind. There's adrenaline. Behind, 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 behind. Pipe up. Uh, one of you maybe use your pipe bomb. Maybe use your pipe bomb. Okay. Not him! After fighting yet another random horde, we had made it back to where we previously died. Up to this point, we only got down once. And we still had a decent amount of supplies. Things were looking up. Okay, we didn't get this far this time. Do, uh, I don't like this button. Do not press it. Bruh. Why did you press the button? Oh. Ain't no way I'm going down there, bro. What Guys, the I you? really do not like this. Once we mustered up the courage to go down the spooky hole, we came up to the first crescendo event of the chapter. But you might be asking yourself, what are crescendo events? Well, my dear viewer, crescendo events are player-initiated horde events that tend to be either holdout scenarios, where you fight for your life as you wait for a path forward, 
in this case a bridge, or they can be run and gun scenarios, where you gotta run from a horde and keep booking it until you reach a safe area. The hordes that are thrown at you in these events are less of a and more of a type of horde. We were given one gas can to prepare, and once we were ready, we had to shoot that big red button. What is this? Oh, this is a horde event. This is a crescendo event. Oh. Uh oh. I do not like this. I do maybe not like this. Got, got, maybe you should have used that gas can on this M2 Browning that's over here. I we should have taken this. I need, I need help right now. Void, look down here. Void, look down here. No. <laughs> I like how we're just focused on the M2 Browning while Nick is just fucking dying. Yes, Yoshi. Heavy incoming. Look at him go. I can't come back. And he's off the edge. Off <laughs> Oh, the bridge is there. Oh, we got the bridge, guys. Jockey, 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 jockey. Oh my jockey. All right, let's move across. Come on. You know what this reminds me of? This kind of reminds me of Portal. Portal. I mean, kind of. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of zombies in here. All right, they're all dead. Oh, a pipe bomb. Hell yeah. Oh, 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 I'm closing this door. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Holy shit. Where did they all come from? Behind us. Close that door. Keep that shit. What? Where Whoa. did this? Fuck it, we ball. I hear Yoshi. He's in the ceiling. He's in the goddamn walls. All right, hold up. I'll handle it. I'll handle Behind it. the door. Yoshi just got obliterated. Otis. Oh my god, there's so many. Why is there a boomer behind every single fucking door we go through? I don't fucking know, but I solved I... the problem. I'm out of primary ammo. I'm down to my pistols. Next knockdown meets death. It's really not looking good here, lads. By the way, the description of this game said, stay away from the dumpsters. I don't know what that means. Uh, okay. okay, of course. Well, Void's dead. I am on one health. I'm on one health as there's well. A, there's a defib Ooh. on me. Let me revive you. There we go. We live. There's a Mac 10 Marble, here. Where did you, at this Marble. point in the run, Things were looking really rough. We were left with low health and we had used up all of our supplies. We did acquire some new weapons however, but even with this, we were totally unprepared for the next challenge standing in our way. Alright, you ready? Here goes nothing. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, I'm alive. Oh no! Why the fuck is it throwing me? We're not prepared for this. It's been nice knowing you guys. <laughs> He's low HP, bro. Low HP. How is it not firing yet? He's still okay. It's dead. We killed Shrek. Finally. Oh, cutscene. Cut oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, squid game. What is this? Squid game. Squid game. Squid game. This is it. The final stretch. Since we're all basically on death's door. We needed some time to analyze our situation. Wait, what kind of panic? Please, I need them. Please, fuck you. God damn it. Our chances of successfully making it through are slim, but not zero. We should be fine as long as nobody steps through those metal detectors and alerts the whole. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, I, this is the end of the. It's the end of the road. Yeah. It's over. It's actually over. It's over. While it is unfortunate that Nick is missing a frontal lobe, it does not matter anymore. What we have going for ourselves now is more knowledge. We were also starting to realize that teamwork was the key to beating this map. Neither of which we're capable of using because we're all lobotomized. Either way, our start was rougher than the last and things would only go downhill from here. Then without any prior communication, Nick decided to use a gas can on a vending machine to unlock stuff we did not need that we would have been able to get for free in the next room over. Teamwork was the key to beating this map. I tell you, we gotta work together. Fucking listen. I may have just. Yep, I accidentally shot Nick. Behind oh us, Jesus. Us, us, bro, I'm getting curb stomped, bro. Why the fuck am I at Travis Scott concert? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, hold on, I'll get you. I just took so much full damage. Oh my fucking god. I wanna restart, but no, you are keep going. going. <laughs> <laughs> fuck! Fuck! Like, yeah, you're dead. We really were not doing well. And once we reached the room with the hole, I noticed a red painting in the corner. My interest peaked and my neurons were activated. 
Oh! Do not punch the red paintings! Do you have any idea what red means? Listen, I'm the type of guy to see a red button and I go, yes, I need to press. I need to press that red button. It could cause nuclear Armageddon, but I need to press that button. I'll cut straight to the chase. This run went to shit after the first crescendo event. I got smacked by a woman and instantly died. How did I die? I was shooting at the zombies and you jumped right in front of my bullets. Oh, you shot. Kill. Oh no, I'm not mad. I find it fucking hilarious as fuck. <laughs> Alright, what's the situ- Why are we in a closet? Oh no, it's so good, man! Hi, it's I'm so good, good man! Did you know that you have rights? I shot Void! I shot Void in the leg and he fucking died. Where is he going? He's gone. By the time we reach the tank arena, we are all out of items and once again on the brink of death. <laughs> Nick, it's just us against this literal purgatory now. Uh, oh, I'm gonna get this gas can. Oh my god, what are you- No, no, let me get back up. Holy shit. Be no, heavy. Oh, I hear heavy. No! It was evident that we were all slowly starting to go insane. And we realized that the biggest threat in this campaign wasn't the zombies. <laughs> But us. I'll be honest, I think the most damage that we take is friendly fire. Like, we keep fucking shooting each other. <laughs> but we were determined. This time would be different. This time, we would finally prevail and beat this chapter. Nick, what? Oh my god! I got you, boy. Don't worry about it. I should have never opened that door. This man really cannot stop sabotaging our efforts on every single step we take. But I'm certain he's learned from his mistakes and won't do that again. Right, Nick? Right. So, M2 Browning or keep the gas can? Because I don't think we need this. I think. I'm throwing this way behind us. So that Jockey somewhere there. around here. What the fuck? Did you throw it off the edge? Okay, we lost that gas can, boys. <laughs> we lost that gas can. Alright, we're good. Bridge is up, bridge is up. I did it first try. I don't know why you guys struggled with it. Okay, here comes Shrek again. No. He dropped down like an idiot. <laughs> Ow! Dropped down she like an idiot, me. followed by getting hit by that shit. Okay, we got him, he's dead. We had once again reached the final part of the chapter. Except we forgot about one key detail. Does anyone remember the code? Oh, the code. Oh no. Yeah, remember that code at the start of the map? You gotta put that shit into the keypad at the end. Which means we have to go all the way back to the start of the map to get it. Otherwise this door won't open and- It's 1356. Oh, never mind then. We gathered whatever supplies we could and prepared for the final dash. It was either do or die. All right, let's send it. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, not that one. Not that one, not that one. Fuck! I jumped! It, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go! I can't! No! Holy shit! Instant. That was so bad. That ending completely crushed our morale. The run might have seemed dead, but we had hope, which was quickly crushed after the first 10 meters. We decided we would take a short break, sit back down afterwards, and continue the grind. So, Nick's computer died. Huh? Four days passed, and we were once again back on our grind, but without Marble, since he had more important things to attend to. What the to occupy the now vacant slot, I invited my buddy Yag. At least I would have if his internet hadn't instantly died. So I got my buddy Slides to hop on instead. Alright, boys, we're back in purgatory. Let's fucking go! Let's speedrun this shit. 
I'm just sniping like from the the That's why you should have saved the adrenaline, Nick. We had reached the last crescendo event for the third time. And by using very conventional means of healing... Right, I've wanted to do this for so long. We got ourselves up to 50 health. So far, this was the best shot we've had at this. If we fuck this up now, I'll probably cry or something, I don't know. Go, 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 go! Alright, is it middle? Close. Nope, it's right, and then right again. Middle, left, just keep fucking going. Left! No, not no! left! Cover us, cover us, Grambit. Why'd you shoot the gasket? That's for trading! No! Then we need a gasket! <laughs> This, it's over! It's over! It's Never it's mind, it's not! Doesn't matter, we win. Oh my fucking god. We're such fucking idiots. Whatever, we did it! After like a billion attempts, we did it. That's right, we finally did it, baby. And we still have four more to go. Yeah, uh... I'm ready right. to go. Uh, I pick up. I used one. What the uh, fuck? I can, I can what? The door just closed. Here. What's happening? What? Oh, oh, what's going Jesus up? What? What? Oh. Elevator. Ladies and gents, I welcome you to the second chapter, which of course immediately throws us into a full-blown arena <laughs> with three vendors and two gas cans to prepare for the upcoming fight. We initially thought we would have to fight three ways of infected to progress, as shown by these three red lights. Oh boy, we couldn't have been more wrong. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, is this a tank arena? Okay, yes it is. By the way, the map said something about stay away from the dumpsters, so I would probably do that. It's dead, it's dead. Well, not exactly what you were expecting, but that was fairly There's easy. another one incoming. Wait, oh, there's two. There's two. Oh, no! I'm stuck! Well, Grammar, you're on your own. Oh, oh my god! He styled on your ass. He styled on your ass. I got the best angle on both of those fucking shows. It turns out that those lights don't stand for the amount of waves we gotta fight, but how many tanks we have to defeat. And the last two even drop in at the same damn time. Not only that, but the environment constantly changes too, and there's these dumpsters scattered about that the tanks can just... All you gotta know is that this was going to be the most painful challenge yet. He's over here! Fuck! I bored him! This one. God damn it, Shrek! Uh, so this arena is so ass. I'm a corner, a fucking corner. Is it going up? No! No! Fuck! Fuck! Holy shit! Oh. There he is. Please lower, please lower, please lower, please lower! I hate this enemy so fucking much, oh my god. Oh my god. I, just, I can't, I'll be honest, I can't fucking take this anymore, I can't fucking stop. Alright, we're done? I'm done with this shit. Once again, thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring the video. Don't forget to claim your limited time bonus using the link below, and join the battlefield on either PC, Xbox, or PlayStation today. I'll also be streaming more attempts with my friends on Sunday and maybe even on Saturday as well, at 6pm Central European time here on YouTube, so swing by and say hi. I'll be waiting.